Dear students, I am here with posting video on hysteresis curve of ferroelectric materials. Now you all need to go through the video that I am posting for you and learn the concept from that. Understand? Learn it and come prepare for the activity that is scheduled on 3rd April. You can meet me for any queries regarding this topic between 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. on 30th March and 31st March 2016. That is this week. You can have that uh, your clarifications of the doubts to be done on this particular topic. First, go through the video properly. Now, as I said, we are going to discuss on ferroelectric materials. Hysteresis curve. The ferroelectric materials are exhibiting this hysteresis curve. Uh, first, I need. To, I will just give you a brief of what is this hysteresis curve. This is something. It is nothing but whenever you have a physical property, such as as you say in your dielectric materials, polarization. When you go for magnetic materials, we are saying magnetization. This physical property is changing. It changes because of some effect. That effect when we con consider with dielectric materials is electric field. When we consider with magnetic materials, we have magnetic field. So, in general, the hysteresis curve is defined as the variable physical property. Example, polarization or magnetization with respect to an effect like that of electric and magnetic field. As we are discussing about the hysteresis curve to be exhibited by ferroelectric materials, I just want to recall your concept that you have on ferroelectric materials. As we know, these ferroelectric materials are dielectric materials and these are the materials that are spontaneously polarized. You does not require any field application, they themselves, if you are leaving them also in the field like that, they themselves get polarized, this does not require any sort of electric field to be present with them. Such materials which get spontaneously polarized are called as ferroelectric materials. Best ferroelectric materials are barium titanate, lead titanate, rochel salt etc. We are saying the materials are spontaneously polarized. So, to explain about the spontaneous polarization, first you should know what is a polarization. This also I have explained you already. Your polarization means if you take a dielectric material, this dielectric material consists of positive and negative dipoles, positive and negative charges to be separated by a distance. When a positive and negative charge are separated by a distance, it constitutes a dipole. A material, solid material that you have taken is consisting of number of dipoles in it. And when we are applying a field for it, all the positive charges are on one side, negative charges are on to the other side. This is nothing but called as polarization. So, if this polarization happens in the absence of electric field, we call it as spontaneous polarization. I am once again repeating, what do you mean by polarization? Alignment of the carriers, that is your positive or negative. How does this alignment happen? It depends upon the direction of electric field. In the direction of electric field, positive carriers are present. Opposite to the direction of electric field, negative carriers are present. So, you are aligning the carriers. If this alignment of the carriers happens by itself on its own without the help of any electric field, we call it as spontaneous polarization. Spontaneous polarization means alignment of the particles on themselves with the positive on one side and negative on to the other side. Now, we are saying that the ferroelectric materials are exhibiting hysteresis curve or we can also call it as a hysteresis loop. Here when we are talking for your ferroelectric materials, it is that your polarization is changing with electric field. The plot of the curve with the P versus E, P on Y axis and E on X axis. Here P is the polarization. Polarization is the physical property, is a physical phenomena which is being getting affected by electric field. How does this physical property polarization vary with respect to electric field is exhibited or is shown with the help of a curve called as hysteresis curve or it a hysteresis slope. So, I can define this hysteresis curve of ferroelectric material as the plot of P versus E that is polarization versus electric field in which the material is polarized in one direction and then in opposite direction is called hysteresis curve of the specimen. The plot of P versus E polarization versus electric field 
in which the material is polarized in one direction and then in opposite direction is called the hysteresis curve of the specimen if you look at this graph this is a curve represented between p and e p is a polarization on y axis e is the electric field on x axis now when you are changing the electric field here the polarization is also changing so you are taking the specimen at posi and at initial position o where you have electric field and polarization both to be equal to zero you are increasing the electric field when you are increasing the electric field polarization is also increasing polarization is also changing and this change in polarization happens changing in the polarization happens up to a certain limit thereafter though we are increasing electric field polarization will not change polarization remains saturated remains constant though electric field is increased polarization will not change that particular point is called as saturated polarized value or saturated polarization as it has reached the sat uh, saturation though we are increasing the polarization uh, electric field there is no change in the polarization the point a is represented by saturated polarization and we are changing the field now that is you are decreasing the field when we are decreasing the electric field polarization is also changing and this happens up to a particular point called as remanent polarization this is a position where the parameter on x that is the effect that is electric field is a zero but polarization is still existing with the specimen the specimen is possessing some p value polarized value to be present with it this is nothing but called as remanent polarization when electric field reduces to zero but the material still remained polarized i repeat when electric field reduces to zero but the material still remains polarized we call it as remanent polarization the power of a material of retaining its polarization is called as retentivity the power of polarization sorry the power of a material of retaining the polarization is called retentivity the retentivity or remanence of a material we are saying here the point b called as remanent this retentivity or remanence of a material is a measure of polarization remaining in the material when the electric field is totally removed it is giving us the measurement of polarization that is remaining in the material when you are removing the electric field it has certain some sort of polarization to be present in it which is called as the finding the electric uh, remanent polarization as uh, polarization remaining in the material when polarization field is reduced to zero this retentivity or remanence of a material is a measurement of polarization remaining remaining polarization means residual polarization whatever is remaining in them in the material when the field is removed though we are removing the electric field some polarization is present in it so there is nothing but called as remanent polarization now we are now changing the direction of the field we are going in the negative direction as we go on we observe that a field electric field is changing and polarization is also changing up to a particular path called as point called as cohesive point at this particular point though electric field is existing polarization is no more existing polarization value is zero as it is happening in the negative direction we call it as a negative cohesive field with further increase of your polar electric field polarization also increases and obtains a value called as saturated polarization represented by d d is the point representing negative saturation thereafter though the field is increased there is no change in the polarization now we are changing the field direction we are moving in the positive direction when we are moving with the positive direction from d to a at point e we are having it to be observed on y axis that is on polarization axis but it is not having any electric field you can look at the point e where x value is zero only y value the polarization value is existing 
as this polarization is happening in the negative direction we call it as a negative remanent polarization whatever the residual value is present with the material even after removing the electric field is nothing but called as remanent and as it is happening in negative way we are calling it as negative remanent polarization now on still increasing the electric field we are reaching a point called as cohesive point where polarization is zero but electric field is existing we applied the electric field but polarization is not changing that particular point is called as cohesive point the cohesivity of a material is measure measures the strength of the reverse polarizing field to wipe out the remanent polarization we are wiping out the remanent polarization using this electric field whatever the uh, polar residual polarization value is present with the material that is removed with the help of this electric field so this electric field is called as cohesive electric field with further increase of electric field we are once again reaching to a point called as a which is nothing but a saturated point this is called as saturation once again so now we can see that whenever we are changing the electric field polarization is changing and when we are increasing or decreasing of your electric field there is variation observed even with the polarization but never the path is retraced back every time the curve is following a new path it is taking a new uh, new uh, trace it is producing a new curve from point o to a when we uh, it is increasing at a after reaching saturation we decreased the electric field but it was not retracing the path along a o it was taking a new path a b then b c c d d e e f f a reaching its initial position but nowhere it was having the same position to be taken back so this is a closed loop a closed curve that is exhibited by ferro electric materials this closed curve which is representing how the polarization the physical parameter polarization gets affected with the change of the electric field is defined as a hysteresis curve of the specimen now with this reading with this video that i have posted for you go through the video understanding that was posted for you you need to answer two assignment questions this is an in class activity scheduled on 3rd april during the assignment you need to answer two questions from the video that was posted the first question is identify the field that needs to be applied for ferroelectric material to have net polarization zero that is you have to identify which field is making the polarization value zero for the given ferroelectric material the second question is discuss residual polarization in the dielectric material rochel salt that is you need to explain or discuss what this residual polarization ha is in case of a dielectric material like rochel salt you need to answer these two questions in as in the uh, it is an in class activity scheduled on 3rd april